thousands of people in our community that are going to be hurting for, for many months. Donations are flowing in for the families in the Santa Cruz Mountains who lost everything in these fires. KION's Drew Andre is live at that donation center in Santa Cruz. And Drew, there's been a lot of help coming in. Well, Aaron, we're talking in the ballpark of several hundred thousand dollars worth of donations that have been dropped off here. Anything from toiletries to things like shoes you see here and lots and lots of clothes. Today, while we were out here, we saw dozens of families stop by who lost their homes and were just coming to pick up as much gear as they could. You don't know how valuable that coffee cup is until you don't have it. That's the simple things that we take for granted, you know? A knife, spoon, and a fork is now like the world to me. Colleen Moore is among the 925 families in the Santa Cruz Mountains that lost their home in the fires and have to start from scratch. I'm, I'm living the good life. Back to reality. Start over. And that's what I'm doing. And it's humbling. The donation center at the county's Emmeline campus has received donations from thousands of people over the last few weeks. Really like anything that you would think like, oh yeah, if I didn't have somewhere to stay or I'm crashing at, you know, a friend's house, what would I need to bring with me? To organize all the donations requires lots of volunteers. They're working in shifts of about 20 at a time, but 2,700 volunteers have signed up to help during the crisis, like Nat Bartell. So I've been doing this pretty steadily for about two weeks now. I know how traumatic it can be to relocate from your home. It's happened to me a few times, and so I really just wanted to be there for all the people that are experiencing these really awful hardships. Nat's working the volunteer check-in booth today, which in the COVID-19 era means everyone has to be screened and remember social distancing. It does require, I'd say, in some ways more volunteers because people are working a little less quickly in order to maintain that safety. The leader of the state's volunteer efforts stopped by the Santa Cruz donation site today to meet with volunteer workers. While need is increasing, both with COVID and also now the fires, we are seeing a drop in volunteers, which is why the Governor Newsom launched Californians for all .ca.gov to call on all Californians who are able to step up and really uh, serve. And every donation that is brought in is matched by FEMA in the relief that will come back to our area. The same is true for every volunteer hour. And of course, the county is still looking for more volunteers. This donation center right here is closed over the weekend, but will open back up on Tuesday. It'll be open through Saturday. Aaron.